Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com and in this video we're going to be talking about VLOOKUP, one of the most important and my favorite uh, formulas uh, that there are in Excel. Um, let's say that you have a number of orders from a series of customers and what you need to do is to put next to the order, uh, next to the customer, the customer number and the customer address. And yes, you could type it manually, but a much better way of doing that is using VLOOKUP. So how do you do that? Here on the right, I've created a list of the four customers that I'm selling to. And next to each one of them, you have your, their customer number, C1, C2, C3, C4, and their address. One Park Avenue, one Pacific Avenue, etc., etc. So how do you use VLOOKUP to Start with this information and pick the, inf the relevant information from here and put it into here. You just start typing VLOOKUP and then you will need to put in four uh, pieces of information. The first one is a lookup value. So I'm looking for what? For this, the customer name here. So I'll just then press F4 until I get to this one here so it will when I copy and paste it will always pick up the value in column B then comma I want to go and have a look at the values I'm looking for customer number customer address where in this range here so I select it from F4 all the way to H7 and I fix it by pressing it 4 so this is the range that I'm working on, the range where I'll be picking up the customer numbers and the customer address. Then I go comma, and for the customer number, I want to Excel to look for basically the uh, second column of this range. So it would be number two. Number one is a customer name, number two is a customer number, number three is the customer address. So column one, column two, column three. So for the customer number, I want to uh, choose column two, and then I put false, which means it will be looking for an exact match. And if it can't find one, it will give me an error message. And then I'll put uh, close parenthesis. So again, what I'm, I'm telling Excel to do is to go and have a look at the uh, value in cell B4 and find it in the range that I have selected here between F4 and H7. When you do find it, I want you to pick the value of the second corresponding column. So for instance, in the case of Woolworths, it goes in there, has a look at the second column, the contact is C4 and that is the value that it puts into my C4 column uh, cell here. Same thing for customer address. What I do, I'll just copy and paste just to show you what happens. It gives me exactly the same value. The reason being is still uh, looking up the value in B4. so. Woolworths. What he also doing is looking at the range from F4 to H7, so that's great. But what it's doing is still looking, picking up, asking for the volume of column number two, so which is this one. I now want column number three, the value of the customer address. So I put in three, and there you go, one Virginia Avenue. So this is the, how powerful this information is. Um, what you do, you then copy and you paste it down. So there you go. You have all the information that you want with regards to customer numbers and customer address without having to type it in, which again is time consuming, would lead to errors, etc. etc. So once you have a set of values that you can build into a table, you're basically half the way, halfway there. Uh, what you can also do, you don't have to be restricted to two um, pieces of information. Here you can go all the way and add anything you might 
be it might be of interest to you telephone number a contact name whatever whatever is important you just create a table with all the information for all your customers and then you ask Excel to pick that information in another table where you only type in the customer the order maybe in the customer uh, name and then it will pick up all the other details that are important to you in this way you can basically create a table that you keep nice and tidy every time all the time and then go and pick all the important information for specific purposes